Sharkbite is making gains in the FPV racing marketplace. At the recent multi-GP global qualifiers, pilots Neukel and Evan Heads Up Turner were some of the pilots who raced using the Sharkbite platform. Neukel and Evan are respectively placed two and three on the global qualifier leaderboard as of the making of this video. If two of the top three are doing something, it makes sense to listen and, and learn. Neukel has published the DVR of his 30.7 second run with lap times of 9.9, 10.6 and 10.1. In his video, Neukel stated, with so little practicing using this system, I'm incredibly impressed by how easy it was to adjust. And he goes on to say, the clarity of the image almost made the quad feel like it was moving slower than on analog but the times were still coming in super fast. Noikel makes a further comment that I also didn't have a single issue with the timing the entire day, which was a relief after hearing of the issues with DJI's digital system not working with lifetime. There are a few things to pick apart in these comments. The two that stand out to me are how the clarity of the image made the quad feel slower, even though the times were just as fast. What this means is that there is headroom for Neukel to be able to go even faster and push himself more because he's used to a perceived higher speed. And this is going to allow him to, over time, increase those lap times and get them down even further. The second is that there weren't any issues with the timing platform. Now, this is very important because racing is all about timing. And we know from previous experience with the DJI system that it's actually caused havoc with other timing platforms. The other aspect of racing DJI is given the goggles are actually transmitting and also the higher bandwidth requirements, it doesn't play nice with other analog pilots and often the DJI guys are sitting out on their own. Now, we shouldn't forget about DJI for a moment, and it's not to say that there probably aren't any pilots racing DJI in the global qualifiers, except none of the top 10 pilots on the global qualifier leaderboard are actually racing DJI. When you examine the setups of each pilot on the multi-GP global qualifier leaderboard, they are very much flying almost identical quads. Each uses the 533 switchback, and while there are minor differences in the components and manufacturer choice, the practically all flying a very, very similar spec. What this means is that once a few pilots at the very top are doing something, the rest will follow because they don't want to be left behind. With two of the top three racing shark bite, I guess we'll we see more soon. Herein lies the challenge for mass adoption in racing and successfully becoming the future of FPV racing. The most important factor is considering the cost and buildability of the quads. Frame manufacturers need to accommodate the racing VTX, which is by no means small. It does have a 20x20 mounting platform, but it's 45mm long, which is considerable in size. It's also $89. Compare that to the TBS Unify. The Pro 32 Nano is $29 and the Pro Nano is $20. For the price of three TBS Pro 32 Nanos, you get one TX5R.1 Sharkbite VTX. Is there a competitive advantage to be had by flying Sharkbite? And if there is, is that competitive advantage enough of a gap from the rest of the pack that the price, size, and having to replace the video transmission on your entire fleet, plus buy a new frame, just to go into Sharkbite, going to be worth it that racers absolutely do this? And I guess these are the things that only time will tell. Is Sharkbite the future of FPV racing? Once the HD Zero camera has been fully released, only time will tell. But what I do know is this. Since the release of the DJI system about two years ago, it hasn't been adopted by any of the top pilots. So it's fair to say that at least for now, it won't be DJI. Sharkbite is the only digital system that has the potential to take over the mantle from analog, but we'll just have to wait and see. I'm Darren from Everything Micro FPV. Until next time, don't forget to send it.